This is Michael at Genius Local Marketing and today we're going to talk about The Ultimate Sales Machine by Chet Holmes. The review is coming up. So I have lots of strategies and insights to share with you from over 35 years in small business management. Some successes, some failures. Click on the subscribe button now so you don't miss anything. Chet Holmes' book, The Ultimate Sales Machine, is packed full of ideas to impact your bottom line fast. Now, he lists 12 key strategies on how to turbocharge your business. We're going to talk about one chapter, Chapter 8, and the title of that chapter is The Eyes Have It. How to Attract and Close More Buyers by Using More Compelling Visuals, Plus the Biggest Mistakes Everyone Makes When Presenting. And what I want to cover would be the eight common mistakes presenters make. So, number one, thanking prospects for their time or apologizing for taking it. You know, this immediately puts you beneath the person you're presenting to. It tells them that their time is more, um, is more valuable than yours. And I know that that's what we've always been taught to do, to thank everybody that it's polite. But he has a good point. Thanking them for their time automatically tells them that their time is a lot more valuable than yours. And if you're selling them something that's really valuable, that's not true. Two. Presenting with your hands in your pockets. Yep, nothing says you're a lazy slacker like putting your hands in your pockets and then trying to present something to sell to somebody. Just don't do it. Three, presenting from a sitting position. There's a lot to be said for posture when you present. Now, you can present when you're sitting. I know some marketers that don't even make a video when they're sitting because of this, that it's more powerful if they're standing. Four, being led around by your nose. The worst thing you can do is let the potential client take control of the conversation. You have your presentation ready, you've practiced it, you've got it all set up how to go and they ask you a question and you just stop right in the middle. Don't do that. Get back to your presentation and come back to their questions when you're done. Five, letting the materials upstage you or guide you. Yeah, you need to keep your materials um, under control so that you actually have control of the the situation you're making eye contact and you're not sitting around reading you know your pamphlet or your brochure you need to not let the materials control the meeting six keeping it totally serious yeah you know what um, I follow a marketer named Brian G Johnson and I'll actually put a uh, a link up here so you can go to his channel uh, if you want to see a marketer who does not keep things serious but yet gives loads of value check out his channel seven Failing to practice the presentation each and every time before you give it. There's something to be said for activating your voice. That's one of the, um, the tactics that Brendan Burchard talks about all the time, that he activates his voice in the morning before he actually starts his day as part of his morning routine. Um, and that's, that's a big part of practicing the presentation. You also get to where you know what's coming next. You're, you're always prepared. Which takes us to number eight having no idea what comes next in the presentation. Yeah, if you're following an outline, if you're following the brochure, you don't have any idea what you're doing. You need to know exactly what's coming step by step by step so that you are prepared to not only make the pitch, make the sale, but close the deal. So there you have it. Now that should be enough to convince you that you need to read this book. It knocked my socks off and I bet it will do the same for you. So here's a question for you. Since it is so ingrained in us to thank people, do you think point number one about not thanking a potential client for their time is a good idea or a bad idea? Let me know in the comments. I upload content like this on a regular basis that challenges you to think outside the box. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Be sure to hit the subscribe button that will show up here in this frame and tick that little bell so that you'll be notified as soon as I upload a new video.